San Diegans are still being warned to stay out of the waters at La Jolla Cove. Lifeguards won't even go in unless it's a life threatening emergency. And new at 530, 10 News reporter John Horn requested the numbers showing how much bacteria is in the water. These warning signs staying up at La Jolla Cove because recent tests show levels of bacteria 10 times higher than they should be. But that didn't stop Daniel Gutierrez from snorkeling today. I mean, just to enjoy the water, you know, just, I mean, I don't know. I never really put much thought to that, but it doesn't really bother me. Others are having a much different reaction to the elevated levels of bacteria at La Jolla Cove. Entire events being canceled. Lifeguards won't get in unless it's an emergency. Five already coming down with staph infections. And this man saying a swim earlier this year almost cost him his leg. Two days later, I had 104 temperature. My leg doubled in size. And now we know just how much dangerous bacteria is floating around in these waters. Tests earlier this month showed harmful bacteria levels more than 10 times the norm. Certain types spiking every month since July. The bacteria swelling to some of its highest levels since 1999. A county health researcher I talked to said it could be a bigger sea lion population, bird droppings washing into the water, or as simple as a higher number of tourists with young kids who could be having accidents in the water. But Guterres, who at first didn't see the warning signs, says it really doesn't matter to him. Yeah, I mean, I'm planning on going back in right now. And moments later, he made good on that promise without even a hint of hesitation. John Horn, 10 News. The county continues to test La Jolla Cove weekly. It uses a monthly moving average of bacteria levels to determine whether the warning signs should come down.